JB, thanks. New details tonight in that deadly graduation mass shooting outside the Altria Theater on June 6. Police giving an update after they canceled the press conference they first planned with the media. 8 News reporter Cheyenne Pagan is live from police headquarters to explain. Cheyenne. Heather, we learned some new information from that brief video update from Interim Chief Edwards. This comes after that press conference was canceled earlier today and postponed for later on. So we have more questions than answers tonight. A deadly shooting outside of Huguenot High School's graduation June 6, killing 18 year old Sean Jackson and his stepfather, 36 year old Lorenzo Smith. Five others also shot with non life threatening injuries and many others harmed in the chaos that followed. For this, this is an incredibly complex case with hundreds of people, hundreds of witnesses many videos that we're still evaluating on a daily basis. We still have unanswered questions on how exactly the celebration turned into a tragedy that day. Questions we planned on asking at a press conference scheduled for 3 p.m. today before it was canceled just two hours before. Interim Chief Rick Edwards instead giving a brief video update saying a consultation from the Commonwealth's attorney was the reason for the postponement. I'm not going to be able to provide the types of details that many in the community and the media are asking for. Here's what we did find out. A second suspect identified that day by police was not involved in the incident. We also learned no guns were brought into the graduation and the situation was not gang related. Edwards reiterated the shooter 19 year old Amari Pollard and Jackson had an ongoing dispute that led to an argument that day, but we still don't know what caused the fight and how did the 19 year old suspect get a gun in the first place? We have also received many questions about the guns that have been seized as well as the ballistic evidence. That is part of the information that we're going to have to hold back and provide to the Commonwealth Attorney's Office uh, when it becomes available. At the end of the video, Edwards made a plea for anyone with any information to come forward to help in this case. A final appeal to everyone who was out there with a video camera taking photographs or any any other information to please call us. Alas, the five injured are expected to be released from the hospital later this week. Amari Pollard's next day in court will be on July 28th. Reporting live in Richmond, Cheyenne Pagan, 8 News.